Hello, my name is Hannah and I'm going to walk you through using our pulley system kit today. This is a kit which uses our meter stick station. This meter stick station is also useful for a variety of purposes and other experiments. So you can use these modular pieces throughout your science curriculum. You do not actually 3D print pulleys in this because they would have too high of a friction variable to give you the math and science that you want to accurately teach pulleys and mechanical advantage. But let's get started building it. Start by inserting the unsharpened end of the pencil into the bottom three openings. You can do the same thing with this top piece. Next, insert your meter stick and do so through the top and then through the bottom, being sure to line up the pencils. So we take these last little pencil angle pieces and we take the short side and snap it onto the bottom pencil and the long side snaps onto the top pencil. For this kit, you're going to actually need two meter stick vertical stands. So repeat the process you did to build this one so that you have two. Then take your two crossbar pieces and two medium binder clips and secure them to create a crossbar to create your meter stick station. For the pulley system kit, you're gonna want it pretty high up on the meter stick so that you have plenty of space to work with as you build your pulleys. Then before you add your crossbar, take the two closed holds and slide them into the center of your meter stick that will create the crossbar. Then insert it into each of the crossbar holds on either meter stick to create your meter stick stand. Secure the pulley of your choice and the spring scale directly to the setup so that you have an easy way to start talking about math and science and mechanical advantage through pulleys. In this case, we have a 500 gram spring scale and a 500 gram weight. The more pulleys you run it through, the greater mechanical advantage you have. What's really good then is to let the students try and figure out on their own why the amount of force is changing the way that it is. So when we had a single tandem pulley that just went down and back up, the weight was reduced by half. Now we have it going down, up, down, up, and the rate is reduced by four. So what you can get the students to do and build on their own is realize that each of these four strings is carrying a part of the weight. In this current setup, you're sort of running an experiment as if you were, say, a construction worker on the top of a very tall building up here and trying to pull a material up to where you were on the building. But oftentimes you'll see pulley diagrams where you have the pulley up here and both the spring scale and the weight down on the ground as if you were pulling something up while you were stationed on the ground. You'll want to hang them as close as possible to where the spring scale is at. That way it doesn't have a horizontal component coming in as that will interfere with the mathematics. This is a really good chance to get your students to hypothesize and then test their hypotheses to see if they accurately estimated the amount of force that this type of a pulley system would have. We hope your students enjoy the STEM integrated physics activity and get a chance to get hands-on experience with pulleys, mechanical advantage, and simple machines. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.